The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Access Fort Wayne is a department of the Allen County Public Library. If you or anyone you know might be interested in making a television show, please call 260-421-1250. Welcome to the Cashman uh, Wellness Show. As my usual subject uh, on this show, which will be aired at 6.30 uh, on Mondays on Comcast uh, 57, is about diabetes and preventing the 30 to 50 diseases that it, are related to it. To prevent them in the first place, to stop them, or to reverse them. This is a critical subject. I'm afraid that the industry, the government, Sugar Association, Hospital Association, um, I'm ashamed to say the Diabetic Association, they are not going to pr promote this, at least they have until this time. Maybe they will change. Uh, but. The beautiful thing about today is this is a tremendous opportunity. Uh, and if you uh, are clearly uh, are tuned in, I can teach you how to prevent it, stop it, and reverse it. And it is not that difficult. You could get rid of type 2 diabetes six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. I am serious. How could it be possible? Uh, when I'm going to the diabetic doctor or I'm going to the family doctor and he's just writing me a script. Uh, year after year. Uh, yes, it is possible. If you were to watch the YouTube shows or read the book of Dr. Jason Fung, and I have his book here with me, The Diabetic Code, Preventing, Reversing Type 2 Diabetes Naturally, a book which he wrote, and you can see him. I highly encourage you uh, to catch him on YouTube. He's on the all the time, multiple shows, uh, a nephrologist from Toronto. Uh, and he's even saying in his book, which I totally agree with, that the drugs that they constantly give you today, metformin, uh, other medications, uh, and insulin itself actually help cause the disease. Yes, how can that possibly be? because they stuff sugar into the cell. And that makes things a lot worse. They're treating just the blood sugar level. They're not treating the cell itself, uh, which turns into fat cells, has many hormones in it, cytokines, and causes dem dementia and high, high blood pressure. And I can go on and on. Uh, so. Uh, that's a very good book to read. And the YouTube shows with Dr. Jason Fung, which I already uh, 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 mentioned. Uh, and I'm, a, I'm about confirmation, about information uh, that confirms what I'm talking about. I don't want you just to listen to me. I want you to listen. I come with many scientific papers and many books. Uh, and it's hard for me to understand why many people I've never read them, mm -hmm. including the former Dr. Jeremy Adams, head of public health state of Indiana. I went to see him. He never read any of these books. Mm -hmm. Here's another one I found. Goodbye, pills and needles. Type two, total rethink of type 2 diabetes and a 90-day cure by Tom Delanick. PhD, 
I like this book. Again, it confirms what I'm saying, and he mentions a lot of the famous authors uh, which I'm quoting all the time, including Dr. Furman and Dr. Kraft and, and Dr. Furman. He mentions all of those in there, having read that, uh, and, and it's easy for a layman to read. He even ha has recipes uh, at the end. I, I even gave this uh, this morning to a person I was seeing at the Three Rivers Pharmacy, incidentally, where I see people for nothing on Friday mornings. They need to call Sheila Arnold, 373-1083, uh, and I'll see you there for nothing, okay, to help you get rid of I mean, I saw a patient who clearly, a whole family is diabetic, and they all thought it was genetic. <laughs> okay? Genes may have a little bit to do with it, but the majority of the time is because they're eating the wrong food. Okay? It's not about starvation. It's about teaching you to eat the uh, correct uh, food. Uh, and the reason I'm so passionate, of course, is, is because of the many diseases that diabetes causes. Uh, you can pick up this one sheet. So what I've been doing lately, uh, to make it simpler f for people, I hand them this sheet of paper right here, uh, which I designed for people to prevent stop reverse diabetes, okay? Uh, it has websites on it, uh, and, and in the back, and in the back it has the complications of diabetes. Uh, on it, okay, which is important to know from uh, dementia, dental disease, thyroid disease, 75% of Alzheimer's disease is due to diabetes. Mm -hmm. uh, liver disease, liver transplants, renal transplants, vascular disease, strokes, uh, I can just, am amputations, dislocations, I can just go on and on, all preventable, stoppable, reversible quickly. Uh, why did I become so certain of this and interested in this? I've been onto this for many years, but recently, uh, incidentally, while I'm speaking about that sheet right there, I added now to this sheet in the back, if you look at it once more, at the bottom, you see a barcode, okay? You can go to the pharmacy, pick up one of these sheets, uh, and put this on your phone, which then leads uh, to uh, my Facebook pages, where I post things all the time. Easy to motivate you to get things going. And then you can su switch uh, to YouTube uh, shows, which are the ones I've done here for hundreds, hundreds. So you can become fully educated in stopping, preventing, and reversing diabetes uh, with these websites, the barcode. So go to the Three Rivers Pharmacy uh, and uh, uh, get it there, and you're on your way, yes. And I'm going to expand it uh, to, to uh, add uh, another site to it, uh, uh, eventually podcast, which I do uh, in my basement at home, uh, so that if you're driving in your car, you ain't got to watch anything. You can listen to it. Just turn your phone on, and you can be educated while you're driving. You've got nothing to do anyway. Uh, but uh, the point is, you'll live 20 years longer. Avoid 25 years of disability. Most, you see somebody who's got a leg amputated, odds are they're diabetic. Mm -hmm. I went to a, a, a funeral recently where the gentleman who died, both legs amputated. A brother had one amputated. Mother died from diabetes. Father died from diabetes. Another uh, couple of relatives have diabetes now. Mm -hmm. One of them told me the other day while we were having lunch, oh, uh, Dr. Rudy, I respect diabetes. I don't want you to respect it. I want you to get rid of it. Respecting it means taking medication, uh, which will make you a little bit better, reduce your blood sugar. but. But remember what I said, those medicines do, they fill your cells with fat and will make, in the end, will make things worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. About maybe two or three years ago, I, uh, 
heard about a gentleman, I think maybe I read him in these books here, Joseph R. Kraft. So he did research. He was a pathologist, University of Illinois, autopsied over 3,000 people, then reviewed case histories of 14,000 people, him and his other associate doctors. He was a pathologist, also a nuclear pathologist, uh, many honors. Uh, he was in charge of the department. Originally, he, the guy ahead of him had him teach 200 medical students about diabetes. And what, uh, and he wrote this book right here, okay? Diabetes Epidemic in You. And you know what he says? Should everyone be tested? Absolutely not. Only those concerned about their future. And that's the truth of the matter, okay? And uh, then he writes in the back, which is critical, so listen to this. A normal fasting blood sugar, that's what they pull normally, a normal weight, a normal cholesterol, do not exclude you from being a type two diabetic. One of the undosed millions, yes, I do mean you. In other words, you can be normal weight, have a normal blood sugar, I'd like to add to that, you could even have had a normal glucose tolerance test where you swallow 75 grams of sugar and they do it fasting, one hour, two hour, okay? And even if that's normal, if there's suspicion like strong family history since you're not overweight, you're not normal till they checked your insulin level to run an insulin assay test, fasting, one hour, two hour. Actually, in town here, you can get it now down because I've bargained with them, a place called Any Test. If you go up Coldwater Road, heading north, there's Walgreens at DuPont. Next to it is Any Test. Go in there, you know, fast overnight. They do it for $100. All those tests, 100 bucks. A lot of insurances actually will reimburse that, but they generally don't accept insurance, but you could then apply it to your insurance. Uh, Medicaid, I think, even covers these tests now because I've talked to them. Uh, so, and, and, and then to confirm what I was just saying, he says, if you are offered an oral glucose tolerance test, I'm gonna talk about that, without insulin assay, you are being shortchanged you're being shortchanged. And that's the mistake, the huge mistake that's occurring in medicine today. We're letting people keep their type 2 diabetes and we don't diagnose them till their blood sugars are abnormal. We're diagnosing them too late. We should be running these tests in children. I offered to the head of pediatric state of Indiana, the doctor lives in town here. He was not interested. Mm -hmm. In fact, when I went back to see him, I was not convinced he had read this book. I gave it to him free. So I gave him another copy because he said he lost it. Mm -hmm. what I say? He's even a friend of mine, but I don't mind saying it because this many kids developing disease which you may die with in the 20s, 30s, and 40s of a heart attack, unannounced, grab their chest and they die, okay? The, the interesting thing that uh, Dr. Kraft uh, discovered is uh, that all vascular disease, just listen to this, all vascular disease starts with insulin. Mm -hmm. 
hyperinsulinemia, elevated insulin level. He's saying elevated insulin level is vascular disease. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if the cardiac people really took this seriously? Uh, what they could, what they could accomplish. Mm -hmm. uh, the first sign uh, of vast endothelial dysfunction. The endothelium is the most inner layer, the most inner layer of our blood vessels. Okay. In, in the first, th that is the pathology of diabetes, the first sign of abnormalities in the endothelium. And they have found that through autopsies that the first this really occurs is in the glomeruli that filter the blood of the kidney. Mm -hmm. But it becomes prominent after many years. So it's not a good place to biopsy uh, regularly. Uh, and what they discovered is that the small blood vessels, the micro vasculature of, of the uh, body, represented by hearing, retina, conducting system of the heart, glomeruli of the kidney, sexual apparatus, the vasculature, uh, ability to have an erection, and the peripheral nervous system, the microvasculature, that's where the first uh, changes occur. So many times, a retinal specialist, an eye doctor, might be the first sign of diabetes, physical sign of diabetes coming along because of the microvasculature of the ear. Meniere's disease, for example, is mostly a disease of beginning of diabetes. Mm -hmm. The otolaryngologists, the ear people, actually will answer that, and they kind of embrace this much more than the rest of the uh, profession. So a lot of hearing loss, tinnitus, vertigo, should run detailed glucose tolerance tests and serum insulin assay tests. Hey, is this the beginning of something? And uh, same with the retina of the eye. Actually, in town here, 15 years ago, I knew this stuff already, yeah, 15 years ago, long before I read Crass book. I went to see two eye doctors in town being somewhat motivated, pushy person. Well, it saves a lot of lives. Why wouldn't I want to do that? To try to interest them into taking on this diabetes project to help change their community, like to change the American Diabetic Association, who still doesn't get it. They still think fat's the problem of this epidemic. No, it's sugar, the booger, and the ochre. That's been well proven because sugar causes increased insulin level. It's obvious. But the craft proved it, and, uh, uh, and uh, they did nothing. They did nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they should really, the ENT people, the I people, could have wrapped their arms around this and probably killed this epidemic. Mm -hmm. My opinion, but I think I'm right. I'm okay. I went through that. I. Uh, Live that. I know friends who had severe vision loss and they never brought up uh, diabetes. I had to point it out to them and get their blood tests and sure enough, the insulin levels were up uh, and they lost 10 pounds and exercise a bit more uh, and their uh, symptoms went away. Maybe I say, maybe I even saved their, uh, li saved their lives. So vascular disease a million die of vast disease a year, a million. Mm -hmm. A million and a half have heart attacks, but a million actually die, uh, okay? And uh, uh, 
and that could largely be prevented hmm, by screening people regularly with serum insulins. We'd catch way before the vast of these uh, goes to work. Uh, that's still not being done today, and I'm not too hopeful it'll be done in the future. But you who are watching the show, uh, get it done. I get, get an insulin assay test even uh, in children, mm -hmm. especially if your child's overweight, for Pete's sake. Odds are they're diabetic. 99% they're diabetic. I even saw another patient today at the three of us pharmacy clinic where I see people on Friday for free, okay? And uh, uh, I saw a patient there today where ran a serum insulin test and it, and it was off. Fortunately, she was a motivated person and I think uh, we'll change her. I gave a copy of, of this uh, Goodbye Pills and Needle book and asked her to read it and I'll see you again in two weeks to make sure she read it. I think she will. She's uh, motivated person has contact with many people uh, in the Spanish uh, Burmese community where this is rampant uh, and uh, which I'm working at to and, and the quickest way I think for me to have some influence on people uh, more than even talking to them which I like to do uh, is for them to get a hold of this piece of paper here uh, with the barcode on it they then can use this to educate uh, themselves. And pretty soon uh, I'll have it so they can, while they're driving their car, they can listen to it. I think if we're gonna help, you know, help, uh, help a lot of people. So what do you, I have another book with me, End of Diabetes, Dr. Joel Fremen. Again, this, he's a friend of mine, and this is a book that I, I uh, read many years ago. He's a friend of mine. I've given, I've gone to his talks all over the country and a very famous, great, great website. Uh, a good book to read uh, too. I mean, what, what is he saying? You don't have to have it. You speak to public health. I have at the state level here. They, they think you can't do anything about it. And uh, mm -hmm. matter of fact, the guy I talked to here is now a certain general in the United States. What an opportunity he's got. Oh my God. He could change the whole country because most of the people dying uh, from the virus got diabetes. He could reduce the, di the diabetes, epide the uh, virus death rate and, and infection rate and get rid of most of the diabetes in the first place by uh, giving people a reason, more than a reason of these diseases to save their lives. What an opportunity. Dr. Jeremy Adams, he has it. And you know what? I had gone and speak to him with a lot of these books a couple years ago, three years ago, when Trump first, because remember he had a picture of him and Trump on the floor getting ready to be put on the wall. So I, that's about that time that Dr. Adams admitted on TV, he got diabetes. I couldn't believe it. I look, look at Adam, look fine. but. Remember what I said, you're not what looks you are, what your blood work is. He admitted on TV, I heard him twice. I'm waiting for the phone to ring to invite me down, maybe to lead the fight on type 2 diabetes prevention. We would save people from the increased rates of infection from the virus, get rid of their diabetes same time. Oh my gosh, what an opportunity. But I saw him on TV again today, but my phone's not ringing. <laughs> I do kind of wonder if he read the books I gave him to, for him to realize he's got diabetes. Uh, I, I'd like to have the answer. I, I suspect he didn't read the books, but, but may, may, maybe he did. But, may, but, but <laughs> maybe he did, I'm hopeful. To make it a little easier even than using the barcode and looking at Facebook, YouTube, maybe reading one book or, or the Taub's book. I've written many books on it too, on Amazon books. 
end of diabetes, uh, fraud of diabetes. I wrote a book called The Fraud and Scam of Diabetes. Well, isn't it a fraud and a scam? They, they let you have the disease. And Dr. Fong even says that, that metformin and insulin, uh, 75% cause of disease because they stuff sugar and fat into the cell, which uh, makes the fat cell, cell bigger and you, and you get bigger. Cytokines uh, uh, get made and you have, an, uh, uh, if you're overweight, it's an, you have an inflammatory body, which is much more likely to have vascular disease. The biggest cause of, the biggest cause of death from diabetes is vascular. Almost all vascular disease is a, a, a diabetes uh, uh, related. Uh, so uh, uh, it's very important to, to avoid uh, the, 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 the disease. And, and this book describes it re uh, really well. An easy way actually to, what kind of food should I, should I be eating? Well, in essence, a low sugar diet, okay? Well, you're gonna need some sugar, that's okay, but maybe have vegetables of color, uh, which have fiber in them, okay? Uh, maybe like my uh, mask, which I encourage you to wear if you're out in the public here, see the colors. Oh, maybe look at my shirt. <laughs> Foods of color. Uh, mushrooms and onions don't have color, but they're healthy, full of phytochemicals and nutrients and vitamins, very healthy, okay? And, and we, you, you wanna eat a certain amount of protein, but don't eat a high protein diet because your body needs a certain amount of protein every day. And you know the extra protein that you might eat, you know what the body does with it? Converts it to sugar. So high, so high protein diets uh, don't work, but maybe eat protein for, meal from vegetables, okay? Uh, nuts and beans, uh, uh, for example, have pro a lot of protein uh, in them. Plants have some protein in them. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, so eat some protein. Eggs are good, you know, people say so eggs, are, eggs are healthy, even the fat from eggs. So you want, and, and then, so moderate protein, uh, about a half a gram per, per pound, okay? And then eat good, Fats, fats from vegetables, okay? Find out what the good fats are. Guacamole and uh, uh, olives, uh, for example. Find out what the good fats are. Uh, so when they, for 50 years, they told us uh, the low-fat diet is the answer, they were wrong. It was lobbying or Congress and Sugar Association, uh, American Diabetic Association were teaching the wrong thing. Uh, they were eating low fat diet, no low sugar diet, mod moderate uh, protein, uh, and then uh, the good fats. The re and then if you can spread them out a little bit, you know, you hear about fasting. I'm not days or weeks of fasting. I'm just saying you spread out the meals. Suppose you, suppose you get a real bad problem. If you uh, lengthen the time between meals, okay, uh, and sort of 16, 8, 16, 8, 24 hours, okay. Uh, you'll go into fat metabolism. The sugar level goes down, insulin level goes down. The fat cells open up, fat comes out. You use it for energy, it's converted to ketones. Uh, energy, very high, much more energy uh, in that than sugar. Uh, uh, and, uh, and you'll lose a pound a day. You can double the rate of getting rid of this disease if you, if you intermittent fast. No more than that, no days or half a day, skipping days. I didn't say that, I didn't say that's bad. I'm just saying that's not necessary. Just spreading the hours between meals. Now, if you can't do two meals, then eat, you know, eat, eat some nuts or uh, some, some good fats, uh, guacamole salad or something uh, for the th third meal, uh, and you'll be rid of the disease in six to eight weeks. Mm -hmm. That should be your goal. Watch my other, Get a hold of my barcode, look at my other shows, gain more information. I'm about information. Uh, I, I've declared war on diabetes. This is Rudy's war on diabetes, okay? Why did I pick this term? Uh, because just touching the issue, eating a little better, 
no, you don't want this disease. You don't want those complications. You don't want to die 20 years earlier. You don't want to be amputated. You don't want dementia. All can be avoided. Did I say diet? No. I eat a little differently. If you want to do intermittent fasting, fine. You'll double the rate of getting rid of it much faster, but you don't have to. You can eat three meals a day of nutrient-dense food, good fats, you'll be healthy. About, thank you for listening. Excuse my passion, but since I care about you, since I don't want you to have these diseases, since I don't want you to die, I just have a sudden unannounced heart attack, which half the people have. Yeah, no warning. They just have a heart attack. They're gone. Okay. I don't want that to happen to you. I love you. Look at my websites, YouTube, read books, handouts. If you want to. See me for free. I'm at Three Rivers Pharmacy Friday morning, 373-1083. I'm doing this because I love you. Namaste. Thank you.